your boy, Senior Ding Dong. And today we got some collector pack news. Alright, let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, Japanese. Odd Eyes Venom Dragon. Dark Dragon. Fusion Pendulum Effect Monster. Is this their first official one? I can't remember. Nope. St Stark. <laughs> okay. And once per turn, you can target one fusion monster you control. It gains a thousand attack for each monster your opponent controls until the end phase. Uh. Alright. Star Venom Monster plus Odd Eyes Monster. Must be fusion summon or pendulum summon and cannot be special summon. But otherwise, once per turn, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls until the end phase. This card gains attack equal to that monster's current attack. Also, this card name becomes that monster. Original name also replaces effect with that monster effect. Okay, card venom. If this is destroyed while in the monster zone, you can special summon one card from your pendulum zone if you do place that card. Okay, it's okay. It's good. Um. I mean, Star Venom basically does that, or is that Greedy Venom? But it's okay. Uh, I don't really like the Pendulum effect, but it has a beefy attack. Then we got some DDD. Super Doom King Darkness Armageddon. Looks like he got promoted. Nice. Well, once you turn, if there's a DDD card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can special summon one DDD XT monster from your extra deck, except this card. Uh, why couldn't it just be any D monster from the extra? It's it's okay, it's good. Um, the only problem I I see with it is if you special summon it, there's not I exceed you. There's nothing really you can do with that monster. It's just a beefy attack. Now, if it was like one of the fusions, then it would be more desirable. Um. When this card is exceed summon, you can take one face-up DDD Pendulum Monster from your extra and attach it to this card as an exceed miracle material. Okay, that's good. Pendulum Monster's control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Nice. Once per turn, you can detach one exceed material from this card, then target monsters your opponent control equal to the number of Pendulum Monsters control to, you know, destroy them. If this card is destroyed in a monster zone, you can place this card in your pencil zone. I like it, it's good. Then we got some ninja support. Uh, they missed out on a level 10. Train! Super Samurai Express Testutu. And it requires the standard Super Heavy Samurai Tuner and two or more non tuner. Samurai monsters. This card attacks while on face up defense and apply its defense. Once per turn, you can discard up to two cards that target that many cards your opponent controls. Destroy them. That's good. Uh, once per turn, you can banish as many spell cards in your each player's graveyard as possible. If you do, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each card this way. Oh, poor Chris Jones. They got a good card like that. And Super, uh, super Samurai is. Basically, you're just like, ah, oh, yeah, well, we can easily make this monster, so. And Chris Downs have, like, a hard time making that monster, so. Yeah, you know. Alright. Uh, Twilight Ninja Jogan. Dark Warrior Pendulum Effect Monster. PS1. Ice Scales. Level 7, 2000 attack. 1000. If a Ninja Monster Troll attacks a defense monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. Alright. You could be revealed one Ninja Art. Card from your hand, special summon this card. But this attacks the defense monster and piercing damage to your, your opponent. I don't understand. Okay, well, that was its pendulum effect. I was gonna say. But they basically could have made it so all your ninja monsters can pierce them for its monster effect. Amazon Empress. It's been a thousand years. Earth Warrior Fusion Effect Monster, level 8, 28 attack. It requires Amazon Queen, Amazon Monster. Other Amazon monsters you can choke it up. It's destroyed by battle or card effects. <laughs> okay, that's real good. The only problem is then the field spell is like redundant after that, besides its small attack boost. Other Amazon this monsters you can choke it up. It's destroyed by battle or card effects. Oh my god, that's amazing. 
If the Amazon monster you can show attacks a defense monster, flick piercing battle damage from Okay, they all are all these gonna have that effect? This is fusing some card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field by opponent's card effects. You supposed to summon one Amazon Queen from hand deck order. That's a good card. That's all these like older archetypes need cards that have multiple effects. You can't just have two. You need like three. Oh nice, God beast. <laughs> Raid Raptor, Abyss Actor, and Eva D Halo. Raid Raptor, Final Fortress Falcon. Final? I'm gonna miss them. It's been a good time. Search, search, more searching, banish, search, search, more searches, set, okay. Anyway, it's a Dark Wind Beast, Exceed Monster, rank 12, 38, attack. Damn. If this card with a Raid Raptor, Exceed Monster, experience is unaffected by other card effects. Oh my god, that's amazing. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, return all your banished rates after monsters in your graveyard. It's alright. Uh, if you do this when you have one of your... Uh, what's it called? The one that you banished to search. If, basically, it's being sent to the graveyard that turn. So, if you had it in your turn, your last turn, you can just re-banish it. That's really good. Okay. Uh, twice per turn, when this card attacks, destroys a monster. By battle. You can banish one Raid Raptor monster from the Yurgaver. This card can immediately make another attack around. So, the third effect is really good because you could just keep re returning them and then banish them. Well play, Konami. Well play. Uh, Abyss Script, Abyss Drill, Entertainment, Spell Continuous. You can only use the first effect of this card name once per turn. You can tribute one Abyss Actor monster and then target one Abyss Script spell card in your Yurgaver. Set it to your Yurgaver. Okay, I love that effect. You you contribute one of this actor monster and target on your favorite set it to your field. But this uh, card is in your own control is destroyed by opponent's card effect, and you have a face up of this actor pencil monster in your graveyard. You can special summon any number of this actor pencil monsters from your graveyard. <coughs> like, who made this card? Like, off chance, like you get. Harpy's Feather Duster and OCG Land. And I have a face up Abyss Actor. And I have no other ones. I'm special summon five. What are they doing? Amazing sport. Uh, Dream Guy Dark Warrior Effect Monster. You can only use this effect, name, effect once per turn. During day one's captain of Destiny or Monster you control is battling. If this card is in the grave, you can special summon this card from your grave. And if you do that, Minus Monster cannot destroy that by the battle. You take no battle damage from that battle. If it's special summoned by this effect, banish this card when it leaves you. Okay. It's okay. Here's why. Sure, it's good fu fusion father. However, why couldn't they give this another effect? Like, I don't think Destiny Heroes are doing shit. The reason why I think this is okay is because the OCG has an uh, exclusive fusion. Where you could discard a, a dark monster or a destiny hero monster, and then you could send the destiny hero monster from your deck to your hero. So obviously you're going to send this either from your hand or your deck to the grave, and then you get a big boost from that. And then once you attack, then you get this fusion summon. Okay, it's decent, and then they have super poly, so they could just super poly with that. It's okay. Not good. Glide your beast. Noxus. Beast Warrior effect level 5, zero, a thousand, uh, zero, a thousand defense. When opponent's monster declares an attack, de declares a direct attack, to special summon card this from your hand. Switch that attack target to this card and proceed to damage card. This card cannot be destroyed by this battle. It's good. This is special summoned by the effect of Glider Beast Monster. You can send one Glider Beast Monster from your deck to your hand. This is good because it, it gets its effect off by itself. At the end of the battle step, this card. Attacked or always attacked. You can shuffle this card in your deck. Special summon one glider beast monster from your deck. This sets up fusion plays. Good support.